Well, it's Wednesday, and we're on Luke 4, 31 through 37. He went down to Capernaum, a city of Galilee, and he was teaching them on the Sabbath, and they were astonished at his teaching, for his word possessed authority. And in the synagogue there was a man who had the spirit of an unclean demon, and he cried out with a loud voice, Ha! What have you to do with us, Jesus of Nazareth? Have you come to destroy us? I know who you are, the Holy One of God. But Jesus rebuked him, saying, Be silent and come out of him. And when the demon had thrown him down in their midst, he came out of him, having done him no harm. And they were all amazed and said to one another, What is this word? For with authority and power he commands the unclean spirits, and they come out. And reports about him went out into every place in the surrounding region. So Capernaum is not that far from Nazareth, but it's a much bigger town. Uh, it's a it's a port town where the, the fishermen bring their fish and things and and unload them, and then they would go from there across land to various places. So uh, it's a it's a bigger city. Um, and that's sort of where Jesus' headquarters become loosely understood. So he's teaching there on the Sabbath in the synagogue. And they're astonished at his teaching because he teaches with authority. And this is said over and over about Jesus. He teaches not like the scribes and Pharisees, but he teaches as somebody who had authority. The way the scribes would teach is to say, well... Rabbi so-and-so wrote about this passage, blah, 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 and Rabbi so-and-so wrote, blah, 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 and, you know, blah, 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 and um, it would all be based in what other people had said and taught and written. And Jesus simply says, now, this is what it means, and, and says it, and um, it's a little like they're listening to God. You know, he has authority. He doesn't depend on other authorities to back him up. Um, he just says what he knows that it means. Now, this is different from our kind of preaching, first of all. Um, some people quote a lot of, of, of sources, and some people don't. Some people will tell you, well, you know, this theologian said it this way, and this said it this way, and isn't that interesting? And, and sort of build the sermon out of that. Uh, others will just say, well, here's what it means, and, and you know, proclaim it. Um, but nobody really speaks with the voice of God uh, the way Jesus did. So um, don't, don't try to compare contemporary preachers to Jesus' style and say, well, this one's better than that one because he, he doesn't quote anybody. Um, so he's teaching with authority, and this demon says, what are, why are you here? Are you, are you going to destroy us, you know, demons? Uh, I know who you are. You're the Holy One of God. And Jesus says, be quiet. I don't need you witnessing to who I am in the middle of this service. And come out of that guy. And so he throws the man down on the ground a couple times, and then he leaves him. Um, and they were all amazed, and they said, "Look at look at this with authority and power. Not only does he teach that way, but he commands demons to come out of of people. Um, this is amazing." And the word begins to spread. Everybody should come listen to Jesus because he's amazing. Well, he is, and that's where it stops. Um, and so we will we will continue with those stories um, tomorrow. But think about that. Think about if if you encounter Jesus and he teaches um, with a kind of authority you've never heard before from any preacher, and he he knows what he's talking about and the way he says it, it makes sense, and you just want to say yes and follow him. That's um, that's kind of how it was for them. And I hope that um, you can get a glimpse of that somehow as you read the scriptures today, too. 
I hope you have a great day and we will see you tomorrow.